everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's World. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It is a lovely Monday morning here in the UK, my friends, and I thought it's about time we played some Minecraft. That is right. So in today's episode, we're going to be doing multiple things. It's going to be a bit of an odd jobs episode, to be entirely honest with you guys, because first of all, what I want to do is I would like to actually make the bridge going over from this pathway over to Python Industries. So yeah, that's going to be a pretty cool thing to do. In addition to that, I'd also like to start making uh, some headway uh, as to, you know, getting the terrain done around here because we've got the future traveling market project. And I did mention that what I'd like to do is fill this entire area in with dirt or at least, you know, flatten this area out so we can actually, you know, make the thing itself. Now, we're not going to make the actual project itself. We're just going to be going ahead and uh, putting the preparations in place. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to it, my friends. I really, really am. But of course, we're going to be beginning with the bridge today. And in terms of materials that we're going to use, I think it's going to be stone related. I think stone related with maybe spruce wood as the flooring. I think that'll work really, really well. What is this cow doing? We have a cow just casually roaming around python industries the freaking industry section is no place for for wildlife to be hanging around man there's there's hostile dudes here mr cow you doofus i'll tell you something what a doofus i don't know man Alrighty, so i'm just in the process of actually making the platform itself so i decided to make it a little bit tall the reason being is i want to you know put some nice decorations around this bridge make it look good make it look like it's a proper transition going from the pathway over to Python Industries, right? So, oh, hello. <laughs> Just random floating block. Hello there, sir. How are you doing today? So, yeah, the other reason, of course, is because if I wanted to take a boat through here or I wanted to elytra under the bridge as if it was an achievement in GTA San Andreas, then, uh, yeah, we could probably go ahead and do that. But, uh, I don't know. For now, I think all we got to do is just carry on. So, a little bit more in the stairs department should allow us to get this up to the correct height and then we can just, you know, connect this bad boy up right so boom boom and then we've got to curve off the underside and then of course we can carry on doing this and at the very least we have the you know we have the quintessential bridge in place which means we can now you know go back and forth between the two places really really easy which is awesome okay so that's pretty much it for the for the wood side of things so let's go ahead and put all the wood away but now we need to grab ourselves a bunch of stone related stuffs and then maybe some glowstone or something like that uh yeah, I'm thinking glowstone will work, so yeah, why don't we go grab ourselves some resources and we'll make a start on the decorations. Alright guys, so while the beautiful Minecraft music is playing, I'm now in the process of uh, adding in some little decorative areas. So, decorative areas, I mean like little decorative pylons, like little supports basically is what I'm trying to say. Hi then, I know it's Monday morning, but jeez man, get your words right. Come on brain, work. <laughs> Oh dear. There we go. All right, so we've got the supports in, and now we have the task of trying to make this look good. Now, I was thinking that maybe what we could do is try to use some cobblestone at the sides, but sadly, I don't actually have any cobblestone, so uh, that's rather... that's dumb. <laughs> Oh, jeez, man. But the idea is, anyways, uh, that we'd go ahead and do something similar to what we have down here, right? So we've got the cobblestone around the edges. We could have the cobblestone around the edges here. And then, of course, we've got the pylons here, which look really, really nice. I'm thinking of putting some trapdoors over the glowstone here just to make them look a little less like uh, glowstone, like proper little light pylons, I guess, providing some light onto this thing. And even if there wasn't enough light, no mobs would be able to spawn on here because as you can see, 66 and a half altitude is what we're at, which means no hostile mobs will spawn, which is fantastic. So, uh, yeah, looks like next stop is cobblestone. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys. So I thought I'd bring you guys back in for another progress update, and that's to say that, uh, as you can see, we made a decent amount of progress on this place, which is really, really quite awesome. There's one thing that I think I want to go ahead and change though uh, one particular element like you can see we've got the cobblestone fences up there but then we've got like this uh, this sort of uh, cobble slab lip underneath it I'm thinking of uh, replacing that instead with stone brick slabs 
I think that might work a little bit better because otherwise I think we'd have a lot of cobblestone textures sort of put together. Like, for example, I feel like the stone brick textures work really, really well when they're just like put next to each other. But cobblestone, I feel like should only ever be used in like one block at a time. Like, do, do you know what I mean when I say that? Like, it shouldn't be used overly much. Well, stone brick, like I say, it's a very, very tileable block, isn't it? It's very, very good. So that's looking pretty good, actually. I rather like that. Yeah, I actually do. That's that's really, really cool. Okay, so, uh, two guesses as to what kind of decorative things we're going to be going ahead and placing down. How about some little flower pots, huh? I mean, it's me, right? We're gonna, we're gonna keep the meme alive, right? <laughs> oh, dear. So, let's get some of you going on there. And then, uh, I'm thinking in terms of this place, maybe what we could do is, like, put some little leaf blocks on here. Right? What do you guys think? A little bit of greenery? Because, you know, we're going from the industrial district, Python Industries, over to sort of the naturistic part of this part over here. So I think it'd be a cool idea to go ahead and implement both things, right? Oh my word, it sounds like there's a lot of hostile mobs in the mob farm. That's insane. All right, well, yeah, that's looking pretty decent. All right, uh, just be a nice idea to grab ourselves out some flowers at this point. Uh, let's let's just go for tulips. I mean, why not? Let's maybe tile them along as well. So something like this, like a diagonal kind of deal. So, yeah, something like this. I think that'll look really, really cool. Uh, what about this section, though? Like, maybe we could put ourselves in another cobblestone wall and then have another flower pot? Uh, what do you guys think of that? Another flower pot? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, dear. Alright, guys. So, for the most part, it looks like this bridge is pretty much done. So, there's one final thing I wanted to do real quick, and that is to try and implement some light to the underside here. Now, I think probably the best idea is just by... Oh, jeez. Whoa, whoa. Here, ha, ho, ha, he, ha, ho. What is going on there? Okay. My elytra activated and made me move weirdly. That's so weird. Anyway, so... <laughs> <sighs> Let's go and put all these things in and then yeah, this place is pretty much done and we can move on to something else So there we go my friends a nice amount of light going on here Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, I'm kind of interested to know though. Uh, oh, nah, do you know what actually? I think I'm all right with this. I think I'm all right Although I am kind of tempted to see what this would look like. I put that in like that. Ooh And it sort of curves round doesn't it? Huh Interesting, interesting. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. We can maybe, uh, you know, make this look a little bit better by doing that. Potentially. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys. So check it out. The bridge has its amendments done and it is looking good. So all I decided to do was put the stairs rather like this as opposed to what I was trying to do before. I've also put some trapdoors over the glowstone on the underneath and as a result I would honestly say that this place is done. This bridge is done and I'm pretty happy with it. I really, really am. So, fantastic. We're going to move on to our next project for today which of course is going ahead and uh, filling in this cave system over here. Now of course we're going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves out an absolute ton of dirt and grass blocks. Uh, luckily, we have quite a lot of both. Uh, coarse dirt is not something I need at the moment. But uh, yeah, I think a little time lapse might be in order for this one, my friends. So I'm going to grab out a bunch of uh, blocks here and we're going to get to work. Huh. Well, that was easy. That took nowhere near as long as I first thought it would, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've just come to the realization as well that uh, my shovel is looking bad. Let me just have a look at the actual durability. 28. Oh, wow. That's actually... That's not looking so good at all, is it, my friend? So, there we go. We now have ourselves a pretty decent space for our little traveling market thing. And I've already got kind of a design in mind that I'd like to go for. In that, uh, what I think I would like to do is have, like, a bit of a central section of dirt surrounded by tents, right? And inside the little tents, there might be, like, a villager or two. Uh, each of them specializing in something different. Maybe there's, like, a little armorer or a farmer or something like that, you know? I think it'd be a nice, I think it'd be a nice little stop off. And if we want to go to bed on the way to somewhere, then by all means we can. So yeah, there we go. This place is pretty much ready to be built upon. Amazing. 
Alright guys, so the final thing we're going to be working on in today's episode is a smooth stone generator and a regular cobblestone generator. And I feel like this is going to be the place we're going to go ahead and uh, build it because, you know, why not? So, this design actually comes from Izuma Void and it's from 2013, so it's going to be pretty interesting to see if it actually still works. Now, we need to go ahead and build this like a couple blocks in the air. We're actually going to work on the uh, functional side of it first. And then, you know, if it all works out and everything's all honky-dory and brilliant, then, uh, yeah, absolutely, we will go ahead and uh, dress it up with a proper build and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Alrighty, so let's get you going in there. Two, three, four, five. The reason why we want five of these is because you can reach five blocks in Minecraft, right? So if I was to go ahead... Oh, I just realized I haven't got any... Well, I've got a crafting table in here, I guess. Oh, man, I thought I was prepared. I thought I was prepared, dude. Uh, wait, do, oh, wait, yeah, yeah, I do have one, I do have one, I do have one. Okay, panic over, panic over, panic over. I just want to be able to get this thing rolling, my friends. I just want to get this uh, concept uh, proven to you guys. So what we do is we stand on here. The solid stone is going to wind up generating on top of the hoppers here. And basically what's going to happen is we're going to have all ourselves, uh, you know, a bunch of cobblestone here. And this is where the water is going to go. The lava is going to be dripping down from the top. The water is going to be coming from the sides. And uh, basically by the, by the lava coming in from the top... Uh, uh, it should allow us to get ourselves smooth stone, right? So that is the intention anyway. So I need to go ahead and, uh, you know, make a bit of a catchment area for the water. So, yep, something nice and simple like what we're doing here will indeed do the job. So, yep, just carrying on. And there we go. Believe it or not, that's all we really need to do. Now, the next thing we need to do is something very, very simple, actually. The lava's going to be going on top here. So this should be pretty simple. All right. Now, this may look like a bit of a mess up, a bit of a, you know, piece of rubbish at the moment. But, you know, it will it will become something. It will become something. So, yeah, it's going to be going in there. And then all we need to do, I'm going to need myself some of this here cobblestone back. Because I need to uh, do stuff. Uh, yeah, do stuff. we got to love doing stuff, my friends. Doing stuff is brilliant. Okay, so if I head up here, can we do some hardcore parkour? Yes, I can. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so all we need to do, I do believe, is place in a bit of a, a bounding box for the lava. So something like this. Right? And then apparently all we need to do is place in the lava. And believe it or not, that's literally all we need to do. Right, now, if this still works today, what should happen is if I go ahead and get rid of... Oh! Hey! That actually kind of worked. The only thing... Ah, oh, right. I know what I need to do. I need to go ahead and uh, place in the slab here. And... Oh. Ah. Yes, that is a problem. Because of 1.13 uh, mechanics... With the water, this may go a little bit weird. Yeah, it's just flowing straight out. Ah! That's bad. That's actually bad. Hmm. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what to do here. I might have to I might have to do some experimenting here, but the, but the concept works, right? The concept actually works. The concept still works. We just need to try and figure out a bit of a workaround for the water, because the water will literally just flow straight through the slabs. Alrighty guys, so I figured out a little bit of a workaround. It involves the use of glowstone and a cobblestone wall. Now the cool thing is I can just stand on here rather like this, and I can still, you know, I could do this. The smooth stone will continue to generate, and as I dig it up, it will of course go into the chest below. But uh, the the thing is, my reach is only five blocks, right? And basically what was happening before is I'd be able to stand right up against this stone and then be able to do things that way. And the reason why you might want that is because, you know, if you manage to get yourself a haste two beacon in conjunction with an efficiency five pickaxe, you can use this to insta mine the smooth stone and therefore just get an absolute ton of it, right? But I guess for now, I mean, four four stone blocks per time is still a pretty good amount, I'd say. I mean, look at that. I could just, I'm literally just holding down my click right now. Yes, every now and again, I might lose a block, but as you can see, most of them are indeed getting picked up by the hoppers. And as a result, they're heading into the chest down below. So look at that. We're already up to 28. Brilliant stuff. Now, imagine if we did have Instamine, how much we'd be able to get then. 
I think that'd be pretty nuts. So there we go. We've got the proof of concept pretty much done. Azuma Void's concept works, but sadly the design in 1.13 doesn't. So this is the workaround that I've come up with anyway. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, obviously, if you guys have any suggestions or whether you guys know uh, whether the thing is a bug or not, the fact that it seems to flow straight through slabs and not a cobblestone wall. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is a snapshot bug. I have no idea. If it is, then of course we'll revisit it. We'll get the old design going again and then everything will be fantastic. But for now, there we go. We have ourselves a smooth stone generator, which is absolutely fantastic because believe it or not, we, we were really in need of it because I didn't really want to, you know, dig out too much of the caves. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I kind of like cave systems. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, there we go. So we've got that concept going and all we need to do now is come up with a regular cobblestone generator design and then away we go. We're pretty much done there. I wonder if we can do something similar to this. It'd be kind of cool if we could, but I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Maybe we find out. Maybe we find out. Let's have a look. Alrighty, folks. So, if my old skyblock knowledge is still correct, I believe this is going to be the way you make a cobblestone generator. At least I bleed and well hope it is, because if not, then uh, we may have just messed this up entirely. Right, okay. I mean, it's looking good so far, so why don't we go ahead and give it a shot. Ooh. Guys, I think I did it! So we've gone for pretty much the same design as the smooth stone generator, except this time we're generating cobblestone, and as you can see, there we go. Look at that. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> this is perfect. Guys, we've actually done it. And I came to the realization as well that actually I don't technically think that we need two sides of water sources, right? So potentially what we could do is we could have one side of the building be the cobblestone generator and then the other side of the building be the smooth stone generator. We could probably have them like right next to each other and they still work as intended. Hey, that sounds like a pretty cool idea. Okay, final project of the episode then. What we're going to go ahead and do, now that we've, you know, got proof of concept, you know, this this entire thing works, uh, what we can now go ahead and do is actually try to put both of these builds right next to each other and then maybe dress it up in the next episode, right? So, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's give it a go. All right, guys. So the left-hand side is now in place. The smooth stone generator is completely done. And yes, I was correct in what I was thinking. I've managed to compact this farm a little bit, which is really, really awesome. So we've got water sources only coming from one side, but it still works as intended, which is fantastic. Now, of course, we need to go ahead and do the cobblestone side. But also, I have come to realize that, oh, hey, this building might actually be a little bit too big for this plot. So I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of testing terraforming before the next episode maybe uh, meander this pathway out further into the river so we have a little bit more space here but uh, anyways what I want to do now of course is go ahead and work on the cobblestone generator section now while we're doing this I don't see a reason why we can't go ahead into the comment question of the video coming from hyena whiskers who says awesome I finally found a minecraft survival channel that isn't dead Hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate the kind words. But uh, the one thing, I mean, in all honesty, like in all honesty, uh, Minecraft Survival, it isn't dead on YouTube. It really, really isn't. You need only go ahead and look in the right places. For example, like, I mean, take Hermitcraft, for example. Any members of there, for example, you know, you've got Etho, you've got Wells Knight, you've got B00, you know, all these people have their single player, uh, you know, Minecraft Survival series as well. And honestly, they're all really, really good. Like, I'm a big, big fan of uh, most of them myself. So, in all honesty, you know, Minecraft Survival, it really isn't dead on YouTube. It genuinely, genuinely isn't. It's just a case of going ahead and looking in the right places and then, hey ho, it's all good to go, right? So, yeah, just, just go ahead and search Minecraft Survival on Google. Google or on YouTube, I'm sure there is a plethora of channels out there that uh, that specialize in Minecraft survival. Uh, Jancy is another one, of course, who I'm thinking of. Uh, you know, there's loads and loads of people who do it. So yeah, honestly, like I say, just 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 go go for a search. Just go for a search. I mean, if I remember, I will try to go ahead and uh, put links to all of these people I mentioned in the uh, in the description down below because it, honestly, these guys are worth checking out. They really really are. So if you aren't if you aren't satisfied with your Minecraft survival fix from just myself, then by all means, you can go and check out these other peeps and they've all got awesome stuff as well so yeah anyways uh i am now in the process of putting in the lava and believe it or not this is going to be the final section of the puzzle uh let's go ahead and uh you know uh cover it up as well because we don't really uh, need that there and now it should be working right 
Yeah, look at that. It is indeed. Okay, fantastic. We've got the cobblestone section going now, which is brilliant. Let's go ahead and uh, bar that place off there. But uh, yeah, we've got this place going. All is looking well. All is looking well, my friends. I'm kind of tempted. I'm not entirely sure if this is going to make obsidian when I try this, but I'm kind of tempted to uh, move the lava source one block to the left. Would that even work? I feel like it should. I feel like it should. We might be able to go ahead and chop off one block's worth of width off of this thing. Let's give it a go and let's see what happens. Hey, it still works, guys. Even though we've shaved off a block from the lava source side, this still works as a cobblestone generator. Oh, this is absolutely fantastic. We now have a fully functioning stone generator and cobblestone generator. And guys, I am really, really happy. Heck <laughs> to the year, man. Oh, this is going to make getting stone so much easier. It's actually unbelievable. It really, really is. But anyways, guys, I think on that note, now that we've got all them set up, we can go ahead and dress up the building in the next episode. And of course, we need to go ahead and get this uh, little bit of terraforming done as well. But for now, my friends, it is going to be time to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating as it really help out myself, the channel, and the video very much. And uh, it would mean the world to me if you did. It really, really would. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on my future Minecraft videos. And that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.